I, I couldn't pay rent. I couldn't, uh, I was juggling credit cards to try to get here to, I'm in Charlotte now, I'm in North Carolina to, for a job opportunity that was going to pay me 30 bucks an hour, which would have been more than I ever made before. Um, so I left a job that was paying me 17 an hour for a job here in Charlotte that was going to pay me 30 an hour. But there was a, a basically an eight month, eight month period in the beginning where I was going to be making 16 an hour. So that wasn't going to be enough to support us and the move and every, everything. You know, I maxed out credit cards to make that happen and jump on this opportunity. But in that process of surviving, like I said, and, and just going all in and taking that first step to go knock on that door for to sell lawn care services, even though I was nervous, even though I was full of self doubt, even though I, I thought, what am I doing? I should just, you know, hang this up and, and stop right now. Like, don't, don't even try you know, was how I felt, but I did it anyway. And it led to leaps and bounds of success because of what I discovered in the process. And the moment you do that, people are, the moment you cross that threshold, people are going to look at you like you've always had it, like you've always been there and only you'll really know. So I don't care what other people think. I mean, it's just funny to me to be to cross the threshold and then people look at you like like you've always had it like you you've been given a life of privilege and they have no clue how hard you've worked for it that is a diseased mindset it's it's not a winner's mindset and it's not going to get you anywhere different if someone was born with advantages or not it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. Good for them, good for their parents, good for their family, whatever. Until you focus on doing you, nothing's going to happen. So, such wise words, 100%. Um, you know, I think we can extrapolate that example from the, the financial have and have nots to really anything. Uh, you know, with even with women that look at other beautiful women, women or uh, if people in a relationship, when they don't have a relationship, it's all, it says so much about the person on how they frame that. It can go one of two ways. Either they can go what you're talking about, the people that resent it and, you know, poo poo it and say must be nice for them or must have been yeah. nice to be born that way and all that. Or yeah. it's another type of person that goes the other way and is inspired by it. Like, oh, exactly. wow, I can be that too. Or, that's the key. Or, or see yourself in them. That's what I want. Oh, thank you for showing me this is possible. You know, like two different types of people, Eric. What is that all about? Like, who would not want to be in the second camp? <laughs> you know, like, why would you just want to be like, right? I'll tell you, I think the first, the fundamental aspect of it for me is that is all perception. You talked about framing. Framing is an important neuro-linguistic programming tool that you can frame things one way. Oh, look at them, must be nice. Or you can frame things of, wow, I want to aspire to be in that position or, or have a family or get myself together. I've, I've always strive to do what serves me so when I look at something I'm not getting envious I'm not getting jealous I'm not hating on anyone that's not productive and it doesn't make sense I don't even know the person or even if I do I'm even more happy for them if they're doing well I want everyone to strive to do their best and that's what I strive to do so anytime someone is further ahead in a certain regard or further along or more developed in their business or whatever it may be, I look at that and I'm like, wow, okay, let me assess what they're doing, how they're doing it, and let me learn from it. And I can incorporate 
whatever relevant aspects of that fit into my life. And now I just became better instead of the negative, you know, low frequency uh, thoughts and, and feelings about what other people are doing. That's never going to serve you. It's never going to change your circumstance. And guess what? It's not going to change their circumstance either. So what is the point? I mean, I really don't understand it because maybe, like I said, just starting on the other end of the spectrum, knowing, um, you know, how great, how, how not so great things can be. I've only um, focused on moving forward in my life. So sometimes no choice is the best choice. And it's because it for it leaves you with nothing to lose and everything to gain. But I think if people realize that no matter where you're at, you still have everything to gain, they they probably wouldn't adopt a perception of others or the world around them that doesn't serve them.